Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Kovac here, and for this one, I will be doing a pet spotlight on surprise, surprise, Kovac himself. I really, really love this pet, not only for its move set, but its model. I just really love the little Kunchong bugs. So uh, yeah, I mean, not my YouTube channel is named after him after all, as well as him being my icon. So uh, I'm very surprised I haven't done a pet spotlight on him. Uh, sooner than this. So, first going up against this fella here. That's the double, uh, double humanoid guy. But, uh, how you get Kovac? He is a drop in Siege of Orgrimmar off of, um, that little, uh, that little dinosaur boss. He's like a T Rex, I think. And, uh, he drops off of him. Or you can get him off the auction house, but, uh, Kovac can be quite the pickle to buy though. He's not as expensive as he was probably back then, but uh, nowadays, uh, let's see, you could probably get him for about 20k gold, depending on your server, so somewhat ex expensive, I would say. Um, he's got three breeds available to him. Each of them are quite good, so really you can go with any breed. My favorite breed and in my opinion the best breed is probably the HH breed as it's quite tanky so you can get out more poison fang and black claws but uh, a case can be made for all the other breeds as well um so yeah I really love this pet so the standard route you want to go with is poison fang, pheromones, and black claw usually by then you're close to dead if not dead but your main priority is to get those three up. Well, uh, so far in this battle, not looking too bad actually, despite him having that on me pretty much all the damn time because that's what uh, Jar Smelly Liquid users do. Uh, I am still pumping out quite a bit of damage. Oh, he went for another gate, okay. Uh, that is okay, I suppose. Um, I'm gonna go back into Blight Breath just so I can hopefully get him to use Jar Smelly Liquid again. He did not, though. Okay. Well, I will go ahead and dodge right here because I don't want to get hit by that jar. He's just spamming corrosion. Okay, well, that's too bad because I totally could have gone for something else. Let's get off my Dragon Racial AoE. Oh, I hope that crit hurt a lot there, buddy. Because I know I enjoyed it. Alright, he went for a burp. I am not faster than that Bone Serpent on either of my pets. So. Uh, I'm probably just going to pass right here. Okay. Oh, even on the HH breed, he is decently fast. Like, I mean, I'm faster than this, uh, freaking Alliance Enthusiast. Uh, oh man, I didn't have my Beast Racial either. Damn, that sucks, man. Gonna go ahead and go for Pheromones just so I can get some extra damage on that, uh, Bone Serpent back there. And a Poison Fang will get the job done. But inevitably, I think I'm going to lose. Um, hopefully he like hits on the low end. Nope. Uh, wanna like probably uh very close to the high end is what I was trying to say. <laughs> Get the words out. That's unfortunate. I really dislike going against that guy. So let me try and see if I can find perhaps a better team with Kovac on it. I do have quite a bit of teams with Kovac. Uh, I just, I just really love this pet. It's pretty good. I would say it's tier one. I mean, some people may uh, disagree with me, but I really love this pet. It's quite good. <clears throat> He's always been good. I think he used to be even better back in uh, Mist when he first came out. I think something to do with pheromones, but they did change it. It does only work on the backline pets though, so um. Yeah, it's still pretty great AoE, I'd have to say. Uh, 
you could go digest brains in some situations as well as puncture wound because, uh, puncture wound I should say because you do have poison fang but normally this will be the build that you will go with nine times out of ten but um yeah I just uh man I dislike going against that guy quite a bit I'm trying to think of what I could have done better against him uh, really that SS breed bone serpent was the big kicker um, maybe I should have preserved my undead longer or something I'm not sure I still played pretty well so a different team I believe I've gone against this guy before actually so I'm not sure what he usually likes to start out with um, I think he might be an unholy ascension Valkyrie I think I'm not too sure. Uh, let's go for Immolation. If he decides to go for his whole one-shot dealio, what I can do is go on my Hermit Crab and dive. Ooh, he totally did, too. Let me just go ahead and dive right here. And uh, no wind-up on me. Ooh, that was a nice dive right there. Uh, Hermit Crab. Oh, he's got Toxic Smoke instead of Power Ball. Well, that's pretty good for me, as the Dot doesn't do that much damage to me as I am an Aquatic type. Um, that was kind of a questionable windup because if I hit towards the higher end, I will kill you, which I, is exactly what I did. So, barely any damage from the Iron Starlet, and yes, he did run away. Um, I'm trying to think. If I didn't have dive or some way to avoid that, that battle probably would have gone differently. So, um, oh man, uh, I don't know if I want to play this all beast team with that guy running about. Uh, let's go for this team. Man, I barely got to use Kovac in that, uh, actually, I didn't even get to use Kovac in that match. Uh, Hermit Crab just, um, destroyed that Iron Starlet right there. Hopefully, we'll get more Kovac action with this one. Using the Leper Rat and the Rebellious Imp with him. Uh, things like Immolation and Death and Decay are always going to go good with Black Claw just adds more damage. Speaking of which, I'm really looking forward to the pet battle event later on today. It is uh, currently, let's see, like 1 a.m. my time, but uh, uh, the little event doesn't start until way later. So, uh, even though it does say that it is the critter event, it's clearly not right here. Otherwise, that little icon would be right here. But, uh, yeah, very looking forward to that. I have a bunch of videos that I plan to get out during this event. Uh, a couple spotlights. Probably a, quite a bit of spotlights, actually. There's a, there's a bunch of pets that I really want to play with. Um... And just overall, really fun teams I plan to play with uh, during this event. I finally have my 120, so I will be able to get that uh, the beautiful level 25 stone. Oh man, really looking forward to this event. And what's really awesome is uh, next month we get yet another pet battle event, so very exciting. get to see a bunch of creative and fun teams and not so much of that like for example that that one guy who had freaking Wormy Tunkins and the Alliance Enthusiast so that's fun what is taking this queue? I'm gonna go ahead and leave and join back in
<laughs> uh, let's see. I actually have two all beast teams with Kovac this one, and then, uh, oh, this one. It has all the Kunchong bugs that you can get. Kunchong Hatchling, Kovac, and then Spawn of Garalon. I actually almost won with this team, but, uh, yeah, it's not a very good team, I'd have to say. Huh, this queue is taking a lot longer than normal, I'd have to say. Usually it's uh, pretty consistent for me. Um, not too sure. Usually there are quite a bit of people out and about doing them uh, pet battles. Froglet, huh? I think this is the first frog that ever has surge, if I'm not mistaken. Oops. Oh man, really looking forward to these pets right here, man. Um, I'd say out of the four, these three probably have some potential. Not sure about Beakbird though. He doesn't seem like the greatest in the world, to be honest. I'm very curious about what their breeds are. Mr. Krabs and the little Lucky Dance user. But uh, Scaly is definitely the one that I'm most excited about. Man, what is taking this queue? Alrighty, there we go, finally. That took a hell of a lot longer than it should have. But, uh, whoa, a Nightmare Trent. Or Trent, I should say. I may have pronounced that wrong. Uh, I don't see that every day, so that's pretty interesting to go against. Um. Hey, maybe, uh, the Critter event has started for some. Uh, well, I will admit that, uh, I do have to update the the little blizzard thing so maybe it really has came but uh 
Just gotta update my uh, battle.net. So let's start out with Immolation. Pretty cool team he's got here, I'd have to say. <clears throat> he's got some AoE with his Pyroclaw as well as his Lovebird Hatchling. Uh, this Infernal Pyroclaw, I have to take this thing down as quickly as I can as he will get quite a bit of damage off of his Cleave and Great Sting. Uh, I'm going to skip going for pheromones right now because I just need to kill this thing as quickly as I can. Alright, nice. I did get a crit on one of those. So, Pyroclaw's dead. Did do quite a bit of damage to me. Uh, Beast Ratio's not quite active yet. I uh, wonder who's going to bring in. And it is the Nightmare Trent. So, I'll go for this. Oh, he went for Nightmare. Well... Uh, I don't have any source of healing on Kovac right now anyway, so that's perfectly fine. You are going to take a crap ton of damage though, buddy. Alrighty. Um, hmm. I'm going to go ahead and go into Leper Rat. It's going to die right here anyway, even if he switches out. So I'll just go ahead and throw down Death and Decay. Here we go. And you're dead. All there's left is the Love Bird Hatchling. So let's just spam disease bite. Oh, he went for predatory strike. Okay. I see ya. He's probably saving his uh love struck. Oh wait, he doesn't have pheromones. What am I talking about? He didn't have any AoE. Probably saving his love struck right now, so maybe I can get him to use it. So I'm gonna go for my portal. Totally did. That's awesome. So basically, I just gotta burst him down. I got a pretty hard hitting burn because I am a power power type, as well as my Dev and DK helping me. So hopefully, he won't get the kill on me. Uh, he has to get a crit right here. Alright, nope, I do win. So that was pretty close, I'd have to say. <coughs> Good job to him. That was very, very close right there. What is this? Okay, well, I'll just move that over there for now. I think I'll do one more battle with, let's see. Uh, let's play with this team. Alarmo Spirits. Hopefully can get one more battle in before I call it. Uh, who knows, I think maybe the Critter event has already started. If that's the case, I probably need to just go ahead and, uh, and uh, restart my battle.net after this. And I might hop back on, if that's the case, and do some more videos. Who knows? We'll just see how it goes. Oh, wow. We are seeing quite a bit of teams. Perhaps it has started. Uh, we got Dart right here, and a Ghost and a Bandicoot. So, pretty cool stuff right here. Um, I'm going to go with Alarmobot, because I have a great matchup against all of his pets. Especially Dart. I'm going to go ahead and go for my Haywire. Alright, he's got a little bleed going on there. Um, let's see if I can't dodge a Mighty Charge. He, haven't, he hasn't showed me whether he has it or not. If I were you, I probably would have it. It's a pretty great ability. Nope, he's got Devour. Okay. Let's go into uh, Alert. And let's alert some more. Okie dokie, down goes Dart. I think Dart might have been my biggest concern, really. Um, 
He didn't have a... Actually, he wasn't that big of a concern. Wow, he got a crit with that. Damn. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm just going to keep spamming alert until I die, basically. Alright, he wasn't able to kill me. Okie dokie. Um... Let's just go for haywires, I suppose. Oh, I went first. Cool. Alright, gonna go ahead and bring in Kovac. Kovac should be able to clean up this bandicoon, no problem at all. Go for Poison Fang, Black Claw, and then just spam Poison Fang. Even though the dot doesn't do strong damage, Poison Fang will. Well, the upfront damage, I should say. Ooh, Beast Racial is active. And one more hit will get the job done. And there we go. Nicely done. Let's see here. How am I looking on time? Actually, I might do one more. I know I said that I'd probably just do one more, but I think I'll do one more and call it. Yes, I will play with this team. Uh, if it is indeed the Critter event, then, uh, I mean, should be able to get in a fun battle. But, uh, oh man, this team is not very good. I'd have to be completely honest with you guys. It's not good. But, uh, if I could get a win, then great. I mean, it's got Kovac on the team, so, um... Kovac is definitely the better of the three. And the faster of the three because the other two are slow as crap. Actually, the Spotted Garlon's faster than the Kunchong Hatchling, which is pretty funny. Let's see if we can't get just one more battle in. Isn't that right, Kunchong Hatchling? Alrighty, here we go. Last battle of the video. Let's see what we get. Hopefully, uh, not a bunch of mechanical damage, because that will definitely, uh, probably take me down. Uh oh. Well, uh, oh, well, he definitely likes Pokemon. Um. I actually have a pretty great matchup, I'd have to say. I'd say is. MPD is going to give me the most trouble. Let's start out with the Kunchong Hatchling. I want to burst this bird down as quickly as I can. Kunchong is the hardest hitter after all of the three. If he can activate my Beast Racial, that would be very generous of you, buddy. Then my poison, I mean, Puncture Wound will be doing even more damage. Thank you very much, sir. I appreciate that. Alright. Um, it'll take me down right there. I'm gonna go ahead and spawn a Garlon. Let's see, I believe this will kill him. Let's see, 114. Uh, no, he will be living with one health unless if it crits. So. 
probably just go for a claw. Oh man, he's saving it for the end. Holy crap. Well, that sucks. Kind of hoping he was going to bring it in now. Oh, he's not throwing up decoy. Aw, oh, crap. I want you to throw up your decoy. Damn you. Alright. Beast Racial's active. Let's uh, start racking up some damage. Maybe he just doesn't have it. I'd be very surprised if he didn't. Come on. No. Oh, he had to explode. Oh, he could have killed me right there and then use explode on Kovac. Huh. Weird. Alright, Kovac, it's all up to you. You have to kill this, uh, Nubisaf idol. Luckily, he does weak damage to you with Crush. So, uh, yeah, let's just see how we do. Hopefully, he just misses a whole bunch. Uh, well, I missed right there. So, uh, that's unfortunate. I missed again. Are you literally joking right now? Three times in a row, people. I am not making this up. Oh, Kovac. Bravo for landing that, um... Let me give you a little clap right there, buddy. Finally, you've landed an ability. 90%. Just flash before my eyes three times in a row. Let me tell you right now, that is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm pretty sure I would have lost no matter what, but damn. Let's look at that one more time, everybody. Let's see. Where does it first begin? Um, let's see, look, right here. Poison Fang. Missed. Poison Fang again. Missed. Poison Fang for a, a third time in a row. Bullshit, it missed yet again. Oh my god. Kovac. I'm very upset with you, but um... Eh, it was, was alright. I mean, I'm pretty sure I would have lost either way. That just goes to show that 90% uh, is ridiculous. It is not a lot, ladies and gentlemen. You can easily miss three times in a row like that. And uh... Yeah, it's, it's pretty damn stupid, but uh, it can happen if you're just that unlucky. Pretty sure I would have lost anyway, so um, yeah, I think that will wrap it up for this one, friends. Really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, Critter event is either already here or will be up whenever uh probably probably when a bunch of you wake up from sleeping. I mean, depending on your time zone, anyway. But uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Kovac, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.